So my friends, as we go through another set of the vocabulary for West Coast Swing and the newcomer tracks all around the nation, all around the world, I want you to understand through the context of the body language curriculum that the pattern is just the outside of West Coast Swing and all of the inside stuff is what makes West Coast Swing worthwhile. Pattern structure is the cup, but whatever you pour into the cup that's the essence of West Coast Swing. The three pattern structures our community uses as a baseline are passes, pushes, and whips. We're gonna post-production those words in there. So the patterns inside of the dance are happening as conscious choices that the leader's making based on where the follower is. So when I want my follower to go past me as the leader, then I'm going to initiate a passing-based action. When I've passed the follower, then we've done a pass, as opposed to if I don't let them go past me, then we've done a pushed action. I keep them on the same side of the slot that we started with. Same thing, followers, if I don't get past the leader when I dance with them, well, then we've done a push, and that gets communicated physically back and forth. The whip is the pattern where we are going to pass the follower twice before the end of the sentence. If we can keep those things mentally straight, it's gonna be easier to learn all of the variations associated with these different pattern structures. Have a good time and keep practicing. Looking at you, Ariel. Or not. This is my A side. This is my B side. Follower on A side goes to B. Really, I just wanted to show you my butt. Because I told you to. Don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, patterns.